This is Ask a Fee Only Financial Planner podcast with Bill Holiday, episode number 20, brought to you by AIO Financial, a fee only financial planning firm at AIOfinancial.com. I'm going to be talking to you about an investment opportunity. It's an illiquid investment. Uh, you invest, you receive interest payments, and you wait for the investment to liquidate, have a liquidation event like going public or turning into a mutual fund to get your money out. It's called TriLink, and it's a global banking service. They work in emerging markets, Sub-Saharan Africa, emerging Asia, and South America. They give loans to mid-sized companies. This isn't micro-lending. They're giving out $1 to $5 million at a time to growing mid-sized companies. They feel there's a gap between the money available for big multinational large companies and that there's also access for very small startups. They feel there's a void in the middle there, and so they're trying to fill that void. They've been around uh, since just 2013 is when they started. Their intention is to make an impact, and they're trying to evaluate what kind of impact they're having with their loans, improving um, services, providing employment. Uh, they're screening the companies to make sure that they are having an impact in their communities. Uh, the loans are all backed by collateral that are worth two to three times the value of the loans. They're pretty well collateralized. All the loans are given in U.S. dollars to take a little risk out of there. They're paying a 7.9% interest to investors. There's a $2,000 minimum. That's an accredited light criteria. Investors need to have at least $250,000 or earn $70,000 a year to qualify to invest in this fund. It's not traded daily. Like I said initially, it's pretty illiquid. You, you invest and you wait till they uh, finish and go public or have a, a liquidation event. It's, there's not a secondary market uh, to be considered. So it's only money that you don't need to touch. They're expecting in 2018 they'll take this public but they're not promising that date. It's not like a bond that has a date attached to it. They could extend it further, so you have to be ready for that. The interest that they're paying also isn't guaranteed by the taxing power of the U.S. government. It's not FDIC insured. Um, it's just what they're offering currently, and, and it could change. Now, they're expecting that with the liquidation event, the initial investors will be rewarded and would receive an even higher overall return on their investment, but it's not guaranteed. Um, as with any other alternative investment, TriLink and any others, if you buy it through a commission broker, be really aware how you're buying it and how they're compensa getting compensated. If you, if you do, you're going to be missing out on some of that interest. They pay... Uh, a bit to commission brokers for their sales, you know, for their selling work. If you buy it either on your own or through a fee-only advisor, then you're not paying any commissions and you know exactly what the, the costs are. This podcast, just so that you're aware, is for informational use only. It's not an appropriate investment, obviously, for everyone. As with any investment, please read the prospectus, discuss it with your financial planner. Now, I'm going to show a video or put a video on here of their, a description of their offering. I hope it's useful. When it comes to obtaining growth capital, larger corporations around the world generally have easier access to a wide variety of traditional financing options. On the other end of the spectrum, micro-enterprises can often obtain financing from sources such as venture capital, angel investors, and microfinance specialists such as development banks. Unfortunately, small and medium enterprises, or SMEs, are often caught in a financing gap despite representing roughly 30% of the global corporate population. These SMEs are often left with limited ability to access growth or expansion capital even though many of them are well-established, profitable organizations. In fact, it is estimated that the unmet demand for SME financing is close to $1.3 trillion worldwide.
TriLink Global Impact Fund will provide growth stage financing to established, profitable, small and medium-sized enterprises with experienced management teams and stable, positive cash flows. TriLink, along with their global investment management partners, will operate in carefully selected markets in developing economies and focus on countries that display political stability, have a well-established regulatory and compliance framework, and where access to affordable capital is significantly limited. In addition, our unique focus on impact investing means that we will be carefully selecting our investment opportunities based in part on the target company's commitment to sustainable business practices and their potential to generate positive, measurable impact on the people, community, or region in which they operate. TriLink understands that historically, small and medium-sized enterprises are the catalyst for growth in virtually every economy. These companies can often drive greater employment levels and ultimately, the alleviation of poverty for many. From an investment standpoint, TriLink employs a disciplined process to help analyze and underwrite potential investments. At the same time, TriLink carefully screens these organizations for their ability to make a measurable social, economic, and or environmental impact in their communities. Before investing in a business, we work with the company's management team to clearly define specific impact objectives, monitor those impact objectives closely over time, and report our ongoing progress to our investors. The senior management team of TriLink Advisors has more than 100 years of combined experience and has overseen and operated over $50 billion in professionally managed investor funds. TriLink has also carefully assembled a team of highly experienced investment management partners whose principals have collectively deployed more than $23 billion in developing economy debt transactions. Talk to your financial advisor and see if TriLink Global Impact Fund makes sense for you. I hope that was helpful. This wraps up episode number 20 about TriLink, an impact investment, alternative investment. What's also nice about alternative investments are they're not traded on the market daily, so they're not moving in correlation. They're not correlated directly with market movements. You're, you're getting a different type of investment that's not moving with bonds or stocks directly. Um, so that can be a nice fit in some portfolios. If you want more information, of course, feel free to contact us. Um, the next podcast, I'll be discussing structured products. And those are just ways to protect your downside. It can increase your upside in equity investments. Uh, You can also have downside total protection as well. All right. Thank you for listening to Ask a Fee-Only Financial Planner podcast. This has been brought to you by AIO Financial. If you need help with any part of your finances, please contact AIO Financial for a free meeting. AIOfinancial.com. As always, I appreciate any feedback you have, ideas, questions, anything you want to discuss. I'd appreciate it. You can contact me on Facebook, uh, Twitter, email is bill at AIOfinancial.com. You can even call 520-325-0769. And if you like these podcasts, please leave a brief review and rating it on iTunes. Thank you.